Hello, YouTube. Chance Paladin here, playing Umbrella Core, and I'll show you guys today how to do uh, Endless Game, <clears throat> the uh, very last experiment level, in uh, under the 5 minute and 30 second, to get the S and the uh, little patch. You can see I did it in about 5 minutes and 3 seconds, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that, hopefully. A lot of people um, poo pooed the single player mode of Umbrella Core. But um, it's actually really good. And uh, super hard. So, the first thing I'm going to do is work my way over to the other side. Carefully, carefully keeping my jammer from getting broken. Okay. He killed me, and that's fine. He's gonna... That's the special infected boss. He's gonna kill you a couple times. What I'm trying to do is charge up my melee while he's running at me and get it timed so he okay so for some reason a dog aggroed and got my jammer there's going to be a couple mulgan mulgans like that too so Kind of get got to get like a little groove going. <clears throat> you want, ideally, to kill these mobs out before the special infected gets here. So as soon as you see them, you charge up, you attack, follow up, it one hits him, get the herb, kill as many guys as you can, Keep your jammer from getting broken. Make your way over here. Now, you saw when I did my charge up. Let it charge all the way. Did my downward attack and then immediately did a follow up. That uh, one hits him effectively. There. Okay. First round's done. That's how you do the first round. I can usually get that done in about 55 seconds to about a minute. Where the hell am I? Okay, same thing here. Clear these guys out. Don't lose my jammer. And then work my way over here. <clears throat> Clear these mobs out. He's already starting to slink his way over. Attack. Or charge up. Attack and attack again. And he's dead. That's it. And then run over, kill as many of these mobs as I can, until he respawns. And don't lose my damn jammer. And I heard him howling at me again. 
so he probably spawned down there. So I'm going to start clearing these mobs out, see if he spawned down there or not. And he didn't spawn down here, so he must have spawned at the other end of the map. Now you want to always get eyes on him. There he is. Because you want to charge as he's running at you so you can get him to miss you get the down, downward chop and then the immediate follow up downward chop is right trigger and then your standard melee is a follow up and if you get this one just right with the grenades, but you gotta make sure you don't engage him on the stupid little hill thing. Yeah. And uh, sometimes if you do that, he'll kill you. So that's why you don't make that mistake on the third one. Because I've tried that several different ways. And it's virtually impossible to kill him and dodge him. So I suggest practicing this on the first two a lot. So here he comes. Start charging up. Get him to miss. Hack. And then uh, follow up. He's dead. Kill these guys. Make sure you don't lose your jammer. If you get in a really bad bind, you can hop down. And then that'll force him to chase you all the way back. And around. But just keep in mind that it doesn't buy you a ton of time. But it might buy you enough time for you to heal up Bending. And especially if you did kill him and you have other stuff chasing you, it will buy you enough time because he spawns all the way on the other end of the map. Sometimes if he doesn't spawn right here. So. He'll stay there for quite a while. There we go. But you don't want to lose your uh, charge up. And uh, he was really not aggroing that time. Oh. One of the things I work in here is I throw grenades into that pile and then go I'll go back and work on this group because this second one does seem to take forever. Shit! Ah! That sucks. I can't believe that pit respawned so many. So, that's just a fluke. That's going to happen sometimes. Not very often, though. Usually, you toss the grenades. And you can melee the cleanup and be done with that. Whoops. Him and the dog got too close that time. 
Ну как? So start charging about here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Whoops. Where the hell is he? Okay. You don't have to necessarily watch the explosions because you will see the point numbers pop up and that's how you know you've got enough and if you hack it at mob a third time and they don't die, that's the special infected spawning. See, like this time, uh, not a lot of zombies spawned over here. And so I can do what I usually do, which is use the two levels. But you also want to make sure he's not getting behind you. Because what's really strange is that he, it's really random how far away he can aggro you. I, so sometimes you actually have to be really close to him. Sometimes he'll aggro, aggro you from all the way to the other end of the zone. So we're going to back up, clear these zombies, charge up, get him to miss, get him with the follow up, and we're in business. Shit, they got my fucking jammer. This is the same thing that happened the last time I played this. Either that or the jammer's always broken on the third one. Honestly, I can't tell. But all I can say is you have to be on your toes for the third one. Be 
because it's, I swear, it just flings Dobermans at you like a Doberman, a pole. Oh, did the grenade bounce off him? Shit. Fuck, the grenade was supposed to go in there. Oh man, this is that's exactly what happened the last time I was here. That is exactly what happened last time. All right, let's see what I got. 517. Okay. So that's not a 5 that's not a 50. But that's within the tolerance, I think. Yeah. It's under the 530. I was smoking it on that 503. Um, I was meaning I was flying. So anyway, uh, that's how you get through endless game. Those were charged up overhead swings with a follow up, <clears throat> and um, yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I absolutely love Umbrella Core, and I love the. The experiment, uh, people rag on it, but I find it a blast. Um, and you can see I've got uh, all of the badges, or all of the patches, from all of the patch levels. So you can see I bust my ass on this thing. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and tell your friends, and uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.